Hey guys, what's up? For today's video, I thought I'd do something different and do a Pokemon video today. Now I know that this is primarily a Naruto channel, but I thought I'd do something new. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about Ethan or Gold from Pokemon Gold and Silver and Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, the main protagonist of the Johto region. But ever since the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield, I've been thinking, what if Ethan traveled to the Gala region? What would Ethan's Pokemon team be? So before I go forward, I just want to point out that this is my opinion of what kind of team that I think Ethan would have and if he traveled to the Gala region. Now Ethan is not the protagonist you get to fight in later games unlike Red on Mount Silver and so on, other games such as Pokemon Sun and Moon. So I'm going to choose Ethan's Pokemon team based on type and nature that Ethan either received in the game, for instance the Rotokopi that he received, which was a normal type Pokemon given to him. So based on game logic, Ethan and any of his three starter Pokemons are going to be water, fire, or grass. But since Ethan is synonymous with Typhlosion, we'll be going with fire typing and Togepi for the normal. You also have Gyarados, the shiny Gyarados that Ethan caught. So we have water and flying. You have Ampharos, which is electric. And then you have Pseudowoodo, which was rock. And then the Dratini that was given to Ethan by Claire, which is dragon typing. So for the typings, we're going to be using fire, normal, water, flying, rock, electric and drag. Ethan also uses Heracross, so which is also fighting and bug, but I want to keep Ethan's team to accurately portray the feel of the Gala region. So starting out with Pokemon number one, I feel that Ethan will still consistently have his Typhlosion. Typhlosion is to Ethan what Pikachu is to Ash, so I don't see that changing at all. Now looking at Typhlosion stats, Typhlosion SP is superior to its regular base attack, and with an average defense, I had a hard time choosing if I should make him an offensive of glass cannon or give Ethan's Typhlosion a balanced arsenal. So for Typhlosion's move pool, I decided to go with Eruption, Extrasensory, Thunder Punch, and Bulldoze. I feel like these techniques are pretty balanced and Thunder Punch is a must have for any Typhlosion user to go up against those pesky water and flying types and Bulldoze for rock typing. So most of Typhlosion's weaknesses are covered in that sense. And I chose to go with Eruption to start the battle with the bang heavy hitter and extra sensory for fighting and ghost type Pokemon. Now for the next Pokemon on Ethan's team, I chose Aggie Slash. I know Aggie Slash isn't one of the types that I mentioned before and Ethan isn't really a ghost type Pokemon user. I just thought that a ghost type Pokemon Pokemon would really showcase Ethan's growth and diversity. Aggie Slash moveset, I chose King Shield, Shadow Ball, Flash Cannon for fairy types in particular, and Sacred Sword to cover Dark, Normal, Ice, Steel, and Rock typing to cover Aggie Slash's weaknesses for the most part. And for the third Pokemon on Ethan's Galar region team, I went with Tyrantrum to take the Rock typing in place of Pseudo Wudo as well as the Dragging aspect. Now for Tyrantrum, since I went with a balanced arsenal for Typhlosion, I thought that I would give Tyrantrum a pretty heavy moveset with Earthquake, Draco Meteor, Head Smash, and Poison Fame for those grass and fairy type Pokemon. Now for the water element, I had a hard time choosing from Samurott or Greninja, but I went ahead and went with Greninja and I chose the moveset of Scald, Acrobatics, Knockoff, and Ice Punch. Now Greninja would be the unexpected anomaly of the Pokemon team. In the beginning, I really wanted to go with Samurott because I feel like that would be a Pokemon that suits Ethan's battle style, but then then again, I want us to just try something different. You know, it's a new region and it's a more evolved and advanced Ethan. And for the fifth Pokemon slot, I chose Zero Aura to take the electric spot for Ampharos. Now this Pokemon is pure electric, so its only weakness is ground typing. And I could see this Pokemon really being a helping hand in the party. Now for Zero Aura's moveset, I went with Plasma Fist, Drain Punch, Thunder Wave, and Fire Punch to handle bug and grass typing Pokemon. And for the sixth spot, I chose Sil Valley. Now for the normal typing spot, it was pretty hard to choose between Sil Valley and Togekiss, but again, I wanted to give a feel of a new experience to Ethan. So I decided to go with Sil Valley. And for Sil Valley's moveset, I decided to give him X Scissor, Ice Beam, Giga Impact, and Hidden Power. 
And there you have it. That's pretty much the six man team that I would think Ethan would have. And the gallery region, I feel as though it really complements his battling style from the past, but it also gives it a new, more mature and evolved element. So there you have it. That's pretty much the team I would see Ethan using in the Gala region. What team do you think Ethan would have in the Gala region? And do you agree with the Pokemon that I decided to choose for Ethan? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure to like the video, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye.